TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we definitely won't be, man. We got seven no days in the walk. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, don't forget, man. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, this is Twitch. Go to twitch.com. The Lit One, T-H-E-E-L-I-T-O-N-E. -E. There's underscores in between every word. Now, if you've missed me for a week or two or any scenarios like that, I'm always on Twitch. Simple. Uh, don't forget, we do got merch as well. You get me. And we got a Patreon we post Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. That's where we can't watch stuff that we, we put it on there. That we can't watch on the, the, the tube of you. This is Traffic Cops, though. Season 13, episode 1. I don't believe we've seen this. But we've been seeing so many episodes of Police Interceptors. I had to move, switch over to Traffic Cops this week. That's tough. Okay, why is this, why is this zoomed in, y'all? From an A to all units monitoring this channel, we've just had an AMPR hit for a vehicle. Stand by for details. Across the East Midlands and Yorkshire, a sharp rise in car crime is stretching police forces. Two eight. Let's see how, how terrible it vehicle. is. Advanced driver, t train. Bro, I literally hate vehicle thefts. I hate when the, the episodes are like the this. Seem to be massively on the rise. In particular, we, we seem to be getting hit with a spate of two in one burglaries, whereby personal you know what? I'm gonna watch burgle it. an address purely to get the keys for the vehicles on the driveway. We're here already. Traffic cops, like Matt Cork, face criminal gangs using tech and fake registrations to steal high-powered cars. There's a vehicle that's hit off a few miles away from here, uh, basically. You know what's crazy? My cousin called me today, or he texted me today, like right, like uh, two hours ago, and he told me he went to sleep, and he woke up to go do Uber at 6 a.m., and his car was stolen. It's a rough life. He's been identified yeah. today as a clone vehicle. That's why I feel like if you don't live in a gated community, you might as well go ahead and get you a little Honda Civic 2000. From 7 1, this clone, it's been in around knots yesterday, all time last night at 7 time, and then went eastbound. I'm going to be jumping out and looking over at the side of the bridge. Thieves try to avoid getting caught by using cloned car registrations, copying the identity of a genuine vehicle. Just remind me of the... I've never in my life seen a cop use binoculars. Like a uniformed cop with no, with no firearm. He's, he just wants that promotion so bad. Right, you want five. I get what you up there doing, but do you realize you are a try hard? And ain't nothing wrong with that. This is your career. This is not just a regular job for you. So try hard. But Jesus, looking at it is crazy. You got the binocular wire wrapped around your hand three times for great stability. I know you can see clean and clear. That's tough. One five. Do you know what color the clone is? It's silver. Thank you. They use four or five different sets of number plates, regularly stopping and changing them to try and prevent us from keeping tabs on where they've been. It's just gone underneath us. Yes, got you, thank you. So just zoom ins are not that bad, actually. Trying to make some ground now. Yeah, 2 8, I've got them in sight, giving them about 300 yards. So at the minute, we're just waiting for some more units to get to us uh, with a view to putting a preemptive box on the vehicle. So we'll look at doing that as safely as we possibly can. As Matt tails the suspect, Control directs other units to help stop the car. Just keep the update. You've got one vehicle very close to you. Just looking for other vehicles. We want to get things in place, tactics in place, to prevent a pursuit ever happening and get the occupants under control. But with that comes a risk both to myself, to my colleagues, to members of the public and to these people that are trying to get away. Hospital Mill 6-3, 
approach to Dartmoor when you've got three plain NOS cars behind it or two pack. Two A monitors. We're trying to do a T pack. There are now ten units from three different forces in pursuit. Two forces, can you let the car come up and get sorted out and safety? We should be able to put a tactic on over. Yeah, please. Uh, we'll ten cars? It's overkill. Get safety on the spot here. Quite a good stereo zone here. Wait, this one has to slip and we'll get. Like I, I just could be chatting right now because I'm not at all, I'm not an officer, but like, it could be completely necessary in this situation. But from the outside looking in, I need ten cars from three different precincts for it. Huh? But as the units surround the suspect, the driver pulls off the motorway. At that moment in time, they've got nothing to lose. They're not thinking about the risks they're taking. Down the road. It's absolutely vital to remain calm. We've got to have some sort of tactical resolution in place to try and bring the pursuit to a stop safely. And the quicker we're able to do that, the better. Seven zero and it's four zero. Crossing the solid white line. Crossing solid white again. Be six zero. Going to the edge of like that's the thing. Like when you get in the cop chase, they document in every single piece of piece of violation that you do you hear them cross white silent line cross wallet white silent line again you're getting tickets buddy it. add it up wrong side of the two black line not sierra 2-2 but double spin confirm you've authorized this pursuit yes it was authorized mid pursuit a bird doodled on the window that's that's with the pursuit crossing borders nottinghamshire's control takes the lead Oh, okay. Wrong side of the team, all right? Wrong side of the roundabout, but right, right, right. Speed 6 0, heading north. Wrong side, light drop, it's stuck on the side of the road. We've got runners, generally two all towns. Are they deep count? No! No, give it up! Two men have run from the car. I don't know. Two eight. Did you see them make it through this hedge line? Through there? Not, no. From seven one, uh, two. I think two occupants, both wearing dark clothing. That's all I can give you. With no sign of the two runners, a drone operator arrives to assist. <laughs> oh man, that is wild. This is what I be saying. Ain't no escape in the UK. They pulled out the drone. Heat seeking drone. If you're in heat, you've disappeared now. Yeah, just that heat source there, but. Hmm. Not so, Bob. Member of public was saying there's one in the backyard. Dog searching now. Where's the garden, please? In the next garden, there's a heat source hiding behind the shed. Yes, yes. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. There. On your left. There's heat source there. There's a big shed at the back. Show me your lines. Face down. Stay there. Imagine you went on a whole crazy police chase. Hopped out on foot. Would have got away. If it wasn't for those meddling police and that drone. <laughs> Scooby? <laughs> gotcha. Oh, that's tough. Get detained. Mate, you're under arrest and suspicion of dangerous driving. Theft of that motor vehicle. You don't have to say anything, but it may have your fence if you don't mention my question. Something which lay a line in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence, all right? Uh, sorry, I'm not too much to think. Anything dangerous in pocket? I think so, no. Just phone and cigarette. ID. No, okay, no, okay. Can we utilize you? Yeah, of course. Bless you. With one arrest made, nearby the second runner is found. From 7 1, we've got one detained. The dog had got another one in the garden at the top of the road. Right, I'm going to go with these guys, okay? As I say, mate, another arrest of young suspicion. Obvious. Right, put your knees forward, lean forward a little bit. 
Put your hands behind your back, now. Two other suspects have also been arrested by the Nottinghamshire officers. They've got the other two. So there's four. The four have been detained. There was four? While all four men are taken for questioning, officers search the suspect's car. It was shoved right under the driver's seat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy, there's that technology. I was just watching something on, um, I, you know, I follow some, some pages on Instagram. Don't forget, man, the link to everything I've ever mentioned is down in the description. Um, and I've seen them using this device to steal a Rolls Royce out of somebody's driveway. First and foremost, why do you have a Rolls Royce in your driveway when there's a garage at the end of that driveway? Put that mug in the garage, buddy. You're asking for it. Nobody should have to worry about their stuff being stolen, but come on. The police have found two bags containing electronic scanners and transmitters. It potentially is like a relay device to steal vehicles, curiously. They've got another one of them in it, but like a more powerful one. Yep. And then the actual scanning laptop, if you like. We're Probably quite. Yeah, man. There's a little box that you can order off Amazon that you can keep your keys inside, and it'll block the signal from these boxes. No one will ever be able to steal your keys. An I mean, expensive car. Bit kit, Yeah, I would imagine so. So the kit that's been or, found in the car appears to be the sort of equipment used uh, to gain entry to keyless entry vehicles. Um, and then some of the other equipment, including laptops uh, and OBD plugs, appear to be what they would then use to start the car, having opened it, um, oh. and drive it away without a key. Matt continues searching the bag. Stickers, so that... But to open your car, they need the signal from the key, right? And that's what the whole machine is for, to get the signal from the key in your house, which is near to the car, to make it seem like you're standing right there unlocking it. Yeah. There's a little box on Amazon that you can put that on. Uh, Double-sided sticky tape so the plates good. can be swapped over almost instantaneously. Crafty balaclava. Uh, so everything in that bag suggests to me that these people are out, up to no good, which is obviously why they're in a clone vehicle. Uh, vehicles on false plates. And uh, if we'd not got on top of them tonight, I dare say there'd be a few people waking up to find their cars we've been off the drive in the way in the morning. At least four. With keyless entry, keyless start, you've got an app and there is no key. But with the removal of a physical key for a car, come the signals which can be intercepted. And there are people getting their hands on technology that is intercepting these signals who almost trick the car into thinking that that is the owner with the genuine key. See? Yeah, they got a little box on Amazon that you can put it in and it blocks the key signals. It blocks that. Coming up. How do you think she... <laughs> That's funny. Clorox free. That's not funny. My wife, skip it. Derbyshire. On the M1 in Derbyshire, traffic cop Sergeant Scott Riley is responding to an urgent call for backup. Not behind the stolen car. Um, Another one? Services. Officers from Nottinghamshire are ahead tailing a suspect car. Black Audi S7 been stolen from North Ants. At the minute, we're just racing to catch up. Across the UK, a car is stolen every eight minutes. Car crime, burglaries have all gone through the roof. This vehicle yesterday involved in an incident where a knife was used. Did we have a description of a weapon? Control search for more information about the suspect vehicle. Uh, 
from any small units that are following after this vehicle, please be advised it does have warning markers for potential firearms. These criminals are some of the most. So you need a firearms officer, right? Most dangerous criminals will come. Maybe Lisa will come out. Across. We've seen them offer weapons towards homeowners. We've seen them offer weapons towards police. We've seen them drive at police, do anything to stop us stopping them. From one four, from there, worst suggestion of a firearms. We've not made any attempt to stop this vehicle at all. Fire unit two, a step back to act as safety. Not the ARV, are they in position to deal with the vehicle? With Nottinghamshire's firearms units en route. So we're, we're just treading a bit carefully. An unmarked car ahead tails the suspect. We're covertly following it at the minute, so we're not getting too close to it. They will do absolutely anything in their power to get away. They, they don't care about hurting us. They don't care about hurting the members of the public. Because they know that if we catch them, they will go to prison for a long time. Not so I'll be following in. And in their mind, taking them on that chase is, at the end of the day, it has to happen. Got to, they got to try their luck is what they thinking in their head. And you two, just keep in mind, I don't condone this type of behavior. I'm just explaining. What I hear from the doc, from the show. I would like the Mark vehicles to move through and overtake me. Got you now. Derbyshire Oscar Sango, Sierra 4 is also with the stick. Multiple police units from two forces close in on the suspects. Off our services into the lorry park. May come to a natural unit and drop on me, please. Just think about it, though. Think about it. They said earlier in the show, every eight minutes, there's a car theft. So they got the data that shows that every eight minutes is a successful car theft. And I was going to ask, like, what's the rate of completion on a car theft in the UK? It got to be like 90% you're going to get away with it. That's crazy. There's not enough police out there to stop that, that, that much type of crime. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Keep your hands where I can see them. Keep they got half the force right now on this car. Some two, three, four other cars is gone right now. Girls in the car. Oh, me and Come over here. Just stay nice and chilled, yeah? Chill out. Yeah, no problem. All right. No problem. If somebody mentions to you firearms, it really focuses your mind that actually the only right thing to do is get that person handcuffed and take any ability away from them to cause you any harm. Any weapons, anything that would hurt me, hurt my colleagues? What happened? Have you got anything on you that you shouldn't have? I shouldn't. OK. What what language do you speak? Romanian. Romanian? Yes, sir. OK. OK, right. You've been stopped. Yeah. That vehicle you're driving yeah. is reported as stolen. The officer just asked him what language did he speak. He said, what, Romanian. Now he starts pointing when he's still speaking English. It's, that don't, that didn't de that didn't you know what I'm saying that didn't translate anything you point. Yep. That is a stolen car. <clears throat> stolen. <throat> not yours. Yeah, not your in. car, is no. it? It's my car, it's the friend car. Okay. Well, whose ever car it is has told the police yeah. stolen. Stolen. Yes. While Scott detains the suspect, officers right. check the man's ID. Have you been arrested before? No. No? First time in cuffs? Yes. In the UK? Yeah? How long have you been in the UK? Five, one years. One years? Yes. Yeah. The more and more I'm hearing on the radio and the more and more we look into his past, you then get a sense of who you're dealing with and what you're dealing with. Are you giving the correct details? No. Are you giving the police correct details? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scott suspects the man's provided a false name. 100% false name. Ah. A search of the car uncovers some alarming items. Baliklava is very alarming. 
What else? Ah! Bladed article. That's a knife. No shite. Good job, ain't it? Ooh, we got multiple. I got a knife. There's only one reason for carrying these. It's for protection, to use them. Intimidation, aren't they? Massive intimidation. You might be going to a steakhouse. I mean, look. Gloria, Charles, three. False name that he uh, um, tried to give us. Despite being given a false name. Yeah, that's him, isn't it? 100%. PNC ID, Scott believes they've identified the suspect. How? So what's he wanted for? This individual's wanted for a very serious crime where he's used a knife to obtain that car is driven halfway up the country with that stolen property. So what lengths is he going to go to to get away from us? Oh, look, it's None, he's in cuffs. It's over. Cuff up? Yeah. Uh, what's the details of the robbery? Between the hours 20 past 7, 20 past 8, uh, robbery GBH. OK, mate. At this moment in time... You're... GBH? Grievous bodily harm, so he actually used it. Say goodbye, buddy. Under arrest on suspicion of robbery, you do not have to say anything, but it may harm you saying it's not mentioned when questioned, something which will later align in court. Anything you do say, maybe given in evidence, do you understand? I know, I, know, I know English is not your first language, but what you need to understand is you're coming with us. You understand that, yeah? Yeah, under arrest. It's got to go to the back, force policy, mate. I know it's uncomfortable. That's how they've got to go. That, that's how they've got to go. No. Oh, especially, of course, for what you've been arrested well, most, for. Most you've been arrested for a violence offence. So I'm not putting my colleagues. Yeah. Yes. A robbery is violent. I'm not violent. All right, violence. a robbery is violent. Trust me. Yeah. Well, he's supposed to. They're just supposed to take your word. He was for me. For me, violent? No way. I know you just found like 17 bladed articles in the back of my car, but ain't no way I'm violent. Oh, you're violent. Get in the back. So now what we've got to do is go and do the fun bit and write all the paperwork up. Looking at the weapons that have been found in that vehicle presents a real danger to officers when we stop in that vehicle and then that's a little bit of a wake-up call for you that you need every now and again to, to remind you that it, it is a dangerous place out there. Do the police wear a stab-proof vest out there? Or do they just wear the bulletproof vest? Do they wear any vest? Because all I see is like the yellow. Do you see me at night vest? Let me look next time. It's a VW Passat. I've turned on it. I've done behind the down. It's just reacted and shot off. I see. What car is it, mate? Grey or silver. Grey. 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 Oh, my God. We almost seen it. Chest, oh, Chesterfield, okay. Very high speed, it's an excessive eight zero. On the northern edge of the county, Derbyshire traffic. No, he don't got, like, he got dry fit, he got on a dry fit short sleeve shirt. Under Armour with the utility vest. This is a utility vest to put on all your walkie talkies and, 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 and non lethal options. It caught Chris Wells Jackson is playing catch up to another suspected car theft. South Yorkshire have got a fail to start with a possible clone vehicle. So we're going to make his way up to the border just to give him some assistance in case they come on to us. The scale of car crime burglaries, theft of motor vehicle, vehicle cloning. Was I muted when I said that? Why was I Anyway, I said, um, when Buddy had on a vest, I said, no, he has on a dry fit shirt, short sleeve, under armor, and he has on a utility vest. Uh, um, can you see me in a dark vest with pockets and cl clipping areas? For his non-lethal options, his walkie-talkie and things of that nature. And at the moment, it's absolutely ridiculous. We'll get criminals that come from Sheffield, 
from Nottingham, Manchester, Leicester that come into our county with the sole purpose of finding a high-powered, high-valued vehicle and taking it. Yes, you can see the head, lights out. It's going to be a D camp shortly, I think. And possibly one a possible D camp is a dead end. South Yorkshire and the Derbyshire officers have gone into the, the woods after him, so hopefully they'll uh, pick him up shortly. The helicopter's above him, aren't they? They're going to lose him. Uh, he decamped, he got out? The bus 3-1, uh, yes, we're still watching this male running away. He has a very small dog with him uh, that's running alongside him. He's making good ground, he's almost in the railway station. Quite a few cops stood down there on a, a containment, so he can't be far away. After a 30-minute search, the runaway suspect disappears. From the cop, the chopper too? I found him, no. I know, obviously, tree line's quite thick, but helicopter being above. Yeah. But moments later, control updates. It's a Range Rover Evoke in black. It's been stolen in Chesterfield. Yeah, we see. It's another call about another stolen car. It's been stolen off the driveway, um, and they smashed the window to get into it and managed to get it started. Somehow. Land Rover, Range Rover thefts, so common at the moment. They seem to have a, a way of getting into them without the keys and they're away in a few few seconds most of the time. With a number of units... Well, these dudes got to have, like, dealership friends that tell them the secrets behind all of this stuff. Still searching the South Yorkshire border for the missing suspect. Police resources are stretched. You get seriously organised criminals that will actively go out, target particular vehicles at particular properties, they'll do the research, they'll go out in the daytime and look at the properties they want to break into, look for the cars that they want to steal, they'll go out later that night and steal the vehicle. And it's not just one or two vehicles that will go on to steal four or five. Sometimes you're looking at 250, 300,000 pounds worth of vehicles going in the space of four or five hours. Say again, so you want me to go and look at CCTV for it? Chris is asked to check the victim's house for any footage of the suspects. Yeah, we see. The IP, the going to be at home, see if there's any other CCTV on the street. She says that the vehicle was parked on the side of the road. As Chris makes his way, control updates on the victim's son. He got into his friend's car and driven down the road. As he pulled in front, he just got into the back of him and then ran in. He's putting himself at a massive risk. Yeah, he won his car. Obviously, the stolen cars hit him in a bid to get away. He's then spun 180 and he's collided with a parked vehicle. Luckily for him, the occupant of the stolen car has not got out with any sort of weapon and tried to uh, tried to injure him. Yeah, because at the end of the day, that's the reality of it, especially in Chicago or, or these states like Florida, or in the United States in general. Like, if they come for your car and they're doing this type of... Because they do this all the time in, in the United States. Um, but they... they They'll, they'll have somebody guarding the situation, watching and looking out, but with a pipe, with a firearm. So it don't even be worth going outside unless you're ready to get in, unless you're ready to swap it out with them. See, I got to use cold words in here now. That's crazy. He flipped us completely around in the car, like completely around. But obviously, because it was like being in a bumper car, yeah, as he yeah, hit yeah. He's, he's turned... I ain't gonna lie, bro. You might not be wanting to talk to the police right now because you look a little bit class A. Me this way. Yeah. So I'm facing that way. And then the last time I seen it, I just seen it. I'm That'll have just been the weight. Road. That'll have been the weight yeah, of his yeah. vehicle. It's one of those things, because this car was stolen, I didn't think that he would damage the car in the process, if you know what I mean. He but he just wants to get away. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah, all, yeah. all I'll say is, in my experience, they're willing to have a go with us and hurt us. Yeah. So if they're willing to do that to us, what are they going to do to you? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it, it's just... It's one of those things, and all I'll say is don't put yourself in danger because it's a car. I know it's your car and it's precious to you, but at the it's end of the day, not. it's a car and you can replace it, but 
if you, yeah, for whatever reason, you went. more the way that it made my bum feel. I could see. Of course, it yeah, of course. But all, all I'll say is, how do you think she'd have felt if I'd have come knocked on her door and said that you've been dragged down road and oh killed? My God. They don't care. That's a fact. That they ain't. Officer, whatever your name is, you done brought some realization into the situation. But it do feel like that, that somebody's son, like when you feel your OG, like then you look at her and see real pain in her eye, like. Like like disappointment and letdown of somebody like stealing something like you your initial reaction as a man is like I gotta go get that. <laughs> it's gone badly wrong a few times in the past where people have chased after stolen cars in their own vehicles and the criminals have turned on them, beat them up to an extent where they could have quite easily died and they've come away with serious injuries, sometimes life changing. I looked him straight in the face twice, once when he was ramming us and then once when he was outside here. Like, I recognised the guy. Oh, you know him? The victim's CCTV might provide clues to the suspect's ID. So this is when it happened at 2042. So this is my car outside. Mm. And then yeah, I rang the police at 2044. Yeah, that'd be about right, yeah. Yeah, and then this is obviously... Oh, what's that doing? Oh my god. It's not letting me play back. A lot of the time we find that criminals actually tamper with people's cameras. They're actually yeah, starting yeah. to jam people's Wi-Fi signals to those devices at the time that they're committing the offence. So you sort of have that blank spot of a few minutes. Seriously? They go through that much? It's when the offence takes place and then everything seems normal again with the cameras. Has anyone else got CCTV? I've just put an email thing onto our oh, Facebook group for you. So this is what, this is it. Mm -hmm. So she heard that and took a photo. And then this is me coming out to try switch my car alarm off. Obviously, we didn't realise it. You can't, you can't see anything. Oh. It's a bit like... But I obviously, like, if what's going on with my car? Yeah. And then I come closer. And then obviously I realised that he's in the car. And then literally it just went. It's, I've never seen a car go that fast in this. Yeah. Yeah. It just went. Land Rover's Range Rover. Put that thing in sport mode. Rovers are so, um, so common at the moment. Them. They've just got a, a device that reads the code of the key. A lot of modern cars with modern technology have also got the cons that it makes it easier to steal because... That's the thing, man. Technology, big... The car got smarter, the thief got smarter. The criminals also have technology that appears to be better than the ones that immobilise the vehicle. It was literally... But my son, he went out to the shop. It must have been really short because he's left here. It was five minutes. Just like, they, this house is insanely large. Do you see where he, the officer is standing and then she's standing and how high the ceilings is? Like, this is ridiculous. Watching. They must have been watching. I think they have just been watching it because they've had nothing on car. I've had nothing with that car at all. Yeah. I've Essentially just... seen him walk out. I think no one's in the house now. I'll try me look. And yeah. It's not just somebody that's taking an opportunity as they walk past the vehicle in the street and sticking a screwdriver in the lock and popping it open and hot wiring it. It's people that are actively going out to steal cars that are worth fifty, sixty thousand pounds yeah, sometimes this is their more job. because they know that they're gonna get a lot of cash for it. And a good night's work for them is two hundred and fifty, three hundred grand's worth of vehicles. That's something that'd take me ten, fifteen years to earn, working honestly. What did he just say? And sometimes more. It's people that are actively going out to steal cars that are worth fifty, sixty thousand pounds, sometimes more. Because it's to be able to lock the fifty, sixty thousand pounds, it'll take him two or three years to get. Defenders up and they're gonna get put in prison, but I just have to be be brutally honest with them and tell them that the chances are very slim of them seeing the, the car again and yeah. Chances are it's it's going to be used in more crime or it's going to get found dumped somewhere and they're probably never going to want to drive it again because the criminals had a hold of it. It's, it's just a complete invasion of privacy. These commercials killing me, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to have to get... Uh... I am going to get YouTube Premium 2014, 2020. Pending. Confirm, is this the stolen Audi? 
on the Derbyshire border with South Yorkshire. Jeff, we've just acquired it on camera. Traffic cop Chris Wells-Jackson and officers from the two forces are part of an air-to-ground search for a stolen Audi. Ambassador, uh, it's double back on you. We've got uh, D-camp, D-camp, all out and running. An A4490 has D-camp. I'm literally about a mile away from where it is. Ambassador, uh, we've got two to ground. Is there any way out of this is this? Over the gig. With two men on the run in a nearby housing estate, Chris races to the scene. Yeah, bus 3 one there. We saw him going through that uh, extension. The police helicopter directs unit towards the missing suspects. Just outside the house. Yeah, bus 3 one there. I've got the format units put together. Uh, keep going forward, please. Still in the vehicle is uh, to the right. And guaranteed, they think they hopped in that little extension and they sitting there like, oh, yeah, we smart. Hey, they ain't going to never come in here. Well, there's a whole helicopter watching you. Like, do you, like, kind of know that. Yeah, lead unit, stop there, stop there, on your left, on your left. So there's outbuilding from the second vehicle, you're right outside. Uh, outbuilding to your left there. They came over the, uh, the fence at the rear. And then it went into that extension area just on the left of the puppy, as you're looking at him. I don't want to send dog in, so come out now. Can't see him. It's not quite tall enough. But first time ever. I can see it back, so no, if anyone goes out, I can see him, but go on. You get round the side here, up at the back. Yeah. I should better off going right back. I'll go next door. There's always something in the back of your mind when you're in that scenario thinking, if I climb into this building, what am I going to be faced with? Is there anybody in there that's willing to harm me? And your experience tells you that you need to be on edge constantly because you never know who you're dealing with. Recently, I've dealt with jobs where these lads have got knives on them. And then what happened? That gate's locked, so I can't get over. Happened? Is it literally the other side of this wall? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they wouldn't have run out at back there on the rear. You could get out the back, but M plus is saying they've not. If you're right above it, and they've not come out the other side, the only other way they could have gone is in there, innit? There is scaffolding on the back of that uh, extension that's been built. Uh, it's possible there's a uh, hiding place under there. Uh, up in the corner there, the back of that extension, we uh, sunk over the fence and then towards that scaffolding. Right, Go on, I've got Ben. Go on. I'll get Ben. You're not going in that, you can't get in that door there, can you? Tom, check door. Check door. Ash, I've got a foot there. He's uh, under, under floorboards. Move on here, mate. He's coming out now. Gotcha, buddy. <laughs> Me uh, stick your feet on here, mate. Lift your feet up. No, no, no. They had to search it for a minute. I thought they actually did some Houdini type stuff. Got away. Quite sneaky, really. Because when you're actually climbing there on face value, there's nobody in it. But when you're lifting the floorboards up, they were playing quite tightly underneath it. So bring your feet down onto this bin here. Drop yourself down. Put your head on that bolt. Okay. Oh, got it. So you send down, otherwise you're going to be sent down. Great failure under arrest, Commissioner Theft of Motor Vehicle failing to stop in this driver. You're not saying He's a young dude, too. You look young. A lot of the burglaries and thefts that I've dealt with and the pursuits that follow as a result of those vehicles being stolen are a mixture of different people. But to discover that it's a couple of teenagers that are in See? that vehicle that have been out stealing other cars and you look at their previous criminal history and you see that they've got a list as long as your arm of thefts and burglaries. It's just unbelievable to think that they're not even 20 years old. How about three wood now? They're teens, they're going to go to a young offender's prison, probably get out very swiftly. Apologies, we are going to have to leave now. Uh, but uh, thanks for the help. Yes, yes, thank you very much for your assistance. It's appreciated. See you at the next one.
See you later. See you later. Cheers, mate. See you later, mate. The two that have been detained, one of them, I've heard his name a few times. It's Bandera. crazy because when I used to go to my nine to five, like I ain't really considered only but two, three people my real homies and they're like my friends. Like if I wasn't in here, like I'd hang out with you. But they just cool with everybody. Everybody, I guess in this profession, like you got to trust that man to have your back. So yeah, you better be my friend. But I just can't see it for me. Brown, and uh, he's very well known for being involved in burglaries and theft of motor vehicles. And I think he's only a, a teenager, so it looks like his career as a, a criminal started very early and is continuing. Fingers crossed they'll get uh, a decent sentence. Crossing your fingers and hoping on somebody getting a decent sentence? Uh, only a cop could say that. Huh. That number plate doesn't, doesn't. The st Are you ready for a t Literally no one else could say that sentence. And it'd be like, oh, okay. Derbyshire. Catching criminal gangs in stolen or cloned cars is a nightly operation for the traffic cops. The whole episode is about that. Section 73, where was the last sight? Just near the southbound camera. 11 miles east of Derby, near the M1. Any off second four seven? I'm out my vehicle, um, looking over the overbridge. Traffic cop Andy Swift is trying to spot a cloned car linked to a spate of theft. You see what I'm saying? Remember earlier, buddy had the uh, binoculars, so he was really a, a, a police tryhard because he don't. He was just tryhard. It's from heavy goods vehicles, which is cool, I guess. This is your career, but dang. Yeah, it's committed under the bridge. Thank you for that. Yes, it's just gone under the underbridge. I think that's going to be it. Tag it 47, it's contact, contact. Lane 2, speed 70. My cousin got a Range Rover. Nice. Vehicle still Lane 2. And anyway, from Tango 47, the plan will be if it keeps maintaining lanes like this, then it'll be a case of a, uh, a multi lane box. A multi lane box requires four units one to hold traffic back, and three others to surround the vehicle and bring it to a stop. They have two vehicles uh, on the track close by. Well, the Tango, well, three T-Pack units, we're all sat in. As Andy keeps his distance, backup is on its way. Traffic cop Sergeant Scott Riley is nearby. <laughs> Yo, Tom Swift, taking your pass for you. Hold on, let me see Scott Stop again. Now. You'll see me. So you just got past me. Do you want me to come up to you? Yes, yes. Commit south, Scott. We're a third of a mile now to the next jump. He looked like he had enough. This might be his last week. <laughs> so, yeah, move out. Where's the Oscar Juliet mobile? Have you caught up yet? Come on, get with us. With enough units in place, the officers move in to surround the car. But, right, we're all together. Yes. Do a three vehicle box. I'll go front, whoever's second, if you go near side, no. and then third vehicle, if you but, go offside. Oh, offside. Yes, yes, Right, move up, move up, move up. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've never seen this T Pack maneuver before I start watching this. And this is mad aggressive. Like y'all like they don't don't let you be in a vehicle and you have any type of any type of record. I'm talking, you could have shoplifted a candy bar and they found a T Pack maneuver authorized? <laughs> like instantly out here. Stop, they T Packing anything. Could you follow this office, please? 
so we can have a chat with you. Swifty, they'll follow you. The T packed that man just to ask him to follow him. Suspect car contains a family, not who the officers were expecting. <sighs> For nothing. And they took him so much, they can get all the details. So we shall take him to the the exit and we'll sort out what we can. So obviously someone's driving around in the wrong vehicle. Oh. Good evening, sir. I don't know what my sergeant's explained or, or not so far. So there's two Land Rovers two with the yeah, same number seven. plates. One's registered to yourself yeah. and one's registered okay, somewhere else in the country. That number plate doesn't doesn't match that VIN, the, the VIN plate. While the car's identity is checked, Scott talks to the driver. Did you buy it from a garage or a private sale? Private sale. I checked the story for car. Yeah. I paid ten pound online. The HPI. Yeah, HPI. HPI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Check clear. If it's yep. not clear, I know why. The chassis number that you've uh, passed us. Uh, we've done a check on it. It's got a report on it. Stolen. Yeah, it's from the London area, I have to say. Dang, that sucks. And he bought the car. Or, or I don't know if he... Right, bad news is, this is a stolen car. And he paid money for it. Yeah, I, pre I appreciate you bought it legitimately, but this is currently a stolen car from the London area. You've done your HPI check on that, yeah. but that isn't this car so your hpi would have come back clear because that is a car that looks exactly the same as this one but the problem is the vin plate this little one here this which is a vehicle there. identification number that comes back to a a different year and a different vehicle so yeah. it looks like you've been defrauded unfortunately so what what we're gonna have to do and i'm not going to give you good news i'm not going to lie the police are going to have to take this vehicle from you now because we're lawfully bound to do so because somebody somewhere has lost a very nice car. I get that you haven't stolen that. I absolutely get that. But that is somebody else's car. I ain't going to lie. If I acquired this car and I thought it was legitimate, I'd be sick right now. You feel sick? I'd probably go home and cry. I take it to the police station. I give you my car. And yeah. I, I sort out about my money. I, I, really, I really understand what you're saying, but it's not something I can do because it is a high-value stolen car. So it's not something I can just let go. It's really sad because we've actually almost transferred the victim because we've just now uncovered another victim who's lost just as much money as the person who lost the initial car. Yeah, I'd be sick. I, I, boy, I'd be going through it. We've absolutely got to get the car back to the right owner or to the insurance if i was the right owner though i'd be happy company that paid out for it we don't want to leave you stranded if you're happy that you and your family could stay here until somebody picks you up from leeds that helps us i'll be honest but the offer is there to take you back back up a bit further north if you need it but if you're happy stopping here and getting family to pick you up from here that's great so i'll let you make that decision can we get your family out of the car so this man can get the vehicle? Yeah, yeah. That's all right. Okay. Do you want to? Do you want to get? Do you want to ask him to get out? With the recovery underway, Scott and Andy check the car's history. Yeah, man, I'd be over blue. So he's insured. He's managed to insure it and everything. I'd be so mad. So the owner that's got the genuine one, his V5 has been superseded. The DVLA basically think that the one that's still running around London, they think that's been moved on. So the DVLA would never know? No. So there's only one vehicle on PNC, but two insured. Yeah. Unfortunately, you've got to check your VIN number, haven't you? That's the only way you can do it. Yeah. Of course, he's got a key, haven't they? So the three code, no, code. You can't even do that in Chicago, because they go, the thieves in Chicago, they're snatching the VIN off. You gotta get underneath the car to make it. <laughs> you gotta find that secret van in Chicago. In the last six months, across the East Midlands and South Yorkshire, 
the police received nearly 7,000 reports of burglary and car theft. It's frustrating because every incident you respond to, you know that there is a victim. Yeah. A victim that's going to be seriously affected, not just for tonight, not just for the night after, but I'll be sick for a, for a while, yeah, you know? The when I got my door kicked in, when I got my house robbed, so full, the system so strapped. I was not right for like a year. People aren't getting the sentences until I moved. They used to. And we're dealing with the same people on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a monthly basis. And if those people were in prison where they should be, then this level of offending would come down. In this episode, I don't think we need a recap, man. They don't show the sentencing on here. We've got runners. You yeah, know, they don't. I remember vividly. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Remember, y'all, please follow me on Twitch because if anything ever happens to me on any platform, I will always be on Twitch. No.